Our third helper today is Eden, who's going to be supervising and making sure that we do the experiment right. Today we're going to be talking about water density. So on the right, in this cup, uh, we have just plain tap water out of our sink. On the left, uh, we have a uh, half of a glass of tap water that we added uh, some sugar to. And so Graydon has a grape in his hand, and he's going to be setting that grape into each cup, and we're going to see what happens. So Graydon, go ahead and drop it in the water first. Yep. Oh, actually, that looks like it was the sugar water first. So as you can see, uh, the cup that Graydon's looking at, uh, the grape is floating. It went down to the bottom, and you can see it rose back up to the top. The reason for that is water density. Because we added the sugar to uh, that cup of water, uh, the grape floated up to the top uh, and did not sit at the bottom. We're or now going to because I dropped it up from so high. Yeah, but it went down to the bottom, and then it. Did you see it come back up? Yeah, it bobbed it up to the floor, on the floor, then it came back up. Yep, because of all that sugar in there. So now we're going to pull that grape out, and in a second we'll show you what happens in just the plain water. Okay. Now Graydon's going to show you what happens when we drop the grape in a cup of just plain water. As you can see, it sunk right down to the bottom. There is no sugar in that cup. Uh, and so, you know what? It looks like it's sugar, but it's um, really just um, little bubbles. Yeah, so there's some bubbles in there that make it look like sugar water, but uh, as you can see, it sunk right down to the bottom. Next, what we're going to do is mix the two cups together, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. Okay, as you can see, I'm using a spoon to slow down the water as I pour the regular water into the sugar water because we're keeping them from mixing. Okay, so we're just pouring that slowly over there. We're okay. out, Dad. Since the sugar water is more dense, it should stay at the bottom. Done. All right. Okay, and now Graydon's going to drop the grape into the cup that has both types of water in it, and we'll see what happens. All right, go ahead. As you can see, it sunk through. And then when it got down to the sugar water at the bottom, it's hovering up off the bottom of the glass because there's still enough sugar in there that the water density at the bottom is enough to keep that grape from dropping all the way down. Yeah, but that, um, the regular water is trying to pull it down. Yeah, so because it fell right through that regular water because there's no density at the top, right? Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining Mr. Potts and Graydon and Eden while we teach you about water density. And before we go, yep, Graydon's going to show you uh, something that he's been working on during uh, our break from school. Oh, we better try again. Okay. Now? Yep. So once again, this was Mr. Potts with Helpers Graydon and Eden. Thank you for joining us to learn about water density. If you like our videos, make sure that you hit the Fenville logo to subscribe uh, and check out more of the content that we put out uh, almost every day. Thanks, and go Blackhawks!